I would really like to hear a little bit more from Serbia, if, if possible, on the housing and uh, health progress points, uh, if it's possible in a nutshell, because this is what uh, I believe we, we should all hear. And I have a question to, to Yase, if it's yes, it's there. So I couldn't see from the camera. Um, whether he can explain it a little bit more the measures on employment, because I, uh, as we heard, there are two programs supporting employment of Roma, but we did not get uh, numbers whether in 2011 they had some concrete employment measure taken and what are the outcomes of this. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your question. I think that in health we have good results we can share with you and especially it is regard the Roma health mediators. Uh, there are uh, 75 Roma health mediators, all of them and women who are working in 60 local self-governments in Serbia and um, uh, results of their work is measured in the multi-cluster indicative survive done by the UNICEF and the statistical office and one of uh, significant result is that the child mortality rate in Roma settlements reduced and um, uh, uh, as regards to the infants as, is, uh, as well as regards to the children under the five years of age. Uh, Ministry of uh, Health uh, is taking uh, some efforts to systematize their work pl uh, place because within the health system because they are now on the short term contracts and um, uh, all uh, uh, analysis shows how important their work was. And uh, there are also um, um, a budget line within the Ministry of Health for joint projects of local health institutions and Roma NGOs. And one of the criteria was uh, to address um, a discrimination in the health by those projects. So I think that is also an important step forward. Uh, what the Ministry of Health did in this area is a huge database containing not only um, uh, uh, with uh, health indicators, but also with indicators in some other areas of social inclusion. And our challenge for the future is to see how we will um, uh, make the better, best synergy between different uh, data that we have in different sectors to make uh, the most possible uh, use of them. Uh, in the area of housing, in the last year we made um, a bit less progress, but we did uh, some significant preparation for this year. Um, in, um, uh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, urban planning documentation for uh, Roma settlements uh, in two cities and municipalities were adopted, and that means uh, base for improvement of, of further improvement of housing condition in those settlements. And in one of those uh, municipalities, Opovo, there were some investments in infrastructure and in individual houses. Uh, we have um, uh, several evictions, as you are all aware, uh, with different uh, challenges uh, and significant uh, reactions of majority population and also of international community. Uh, but we also do one uh, first uh, positive step uh, in um, uh, uh, resettling uh, informal settlements respecting all the principles set in the uh, UN guidelines for um, um, eviction and relocation based on the development, including on involvement of all stakeholders, on uh, consultation with affected um, uh, citizens, on providing them alternative accommodation followed by social inclusion programs, um, on uh, postponing evictions because of the time, uh, providing them some urgent health, uh, help, and I hope that that will serve as a first step uh, for developing of model of future resettlements. Also, there is an ongoing study for provision of durable solution for people who are temporarily accommodated in the uh, mobile housing units in Belgrade, and uh, funds are secure for implementation of the recommendation of that study from IPA 2010. And one good sign is that uh, IPA 2012 will provide funds for mapping uh, Roma settlements all around the Serbia and developing housing 
model and if we manage to prepare all uh, legal requirements and uh, uh, all paperwork uh, there are uh, intention from IPA 2030 uh, to some more substantial infrastructure work to be um, financed uh, and also there are some developments in the general framework like adoption of national strategy and action plans for social housing and development of that part of um, of action plan. Thank you. Благодаря младим на прашањето. Инако во насека на тоа да се задржам во рамката на времето кој што е дадено за презентирање само ги споменав. Thank you for your question. In the line, I just want to keep my answer in the time allocated for presenting. In the first program, program for self-employment, that program is implemented through trainings for all the unemployed Roma. In terms of uh, training for entrepreneurship, help for registration of uh, own business and subventions for starting own business, every time we give an uh, unreturnable sum, around 35,000 euros are provided for this help and 30,000 of those euros is direct expenses for obtaining materials and the rest of it, 260 euros we give to people for trainings, for starting their own business, for preparation of business plan, for support in registering their business. And in the realization of this program during the reporting period for 2011, we have 51 Roma applying for this opportunity. We have for the self-financing eight Roma have applied for it. And in all these programs, we have to say that some of the companies are still in the process of reg registration. So these figures can undergo certain changes. And the final sum we will get by the middle of this year. The second program is for the support of Roma is again through trainings and those are for the deficitary trainings, professions. Those trainings are based on analysis for the needs in the labour market and also from the findings of the services in the Agency for Employment. And mainly those trainings are allocated for the following profession, electro installer, installer of the gas, uh, servicer of the mechatronic systems, gypsum, etc. For all these professions and skills, what is important is that to the persons we cover all the expenses for the travel and uh, stay and also we cover the insurance in case of accidents during the training and during the training which takes place in the play uh, at the place of work the training is being realized in the period of three months in various institutions who are specialized for that uh, purpose. The candidates undertake practical work in realistic conditions at employers in a period of one month and at the end they get certificate for the attended training from the employer. And what is important that these measures also motivate the employers because they get a subvention to train these persons and afterwards they encourage to employ the person who have attended trainings. Additionally, in the area of employment, which I didn't mention in my presentation, as civil servants in 2011, the government of the Republic of Macedonia have issued decisions for Roma who have graduated on secondary school, 27 of them with, uh, with higher education, and also we employ people in seasonal work where Roma have advan advantage. That measure is not allocated just for Roma, but the Roma get benefit from it. Како државни службеници во 2011 година, Владата на Република Македонија даде решение на околу 67 Роми со завршено нека средно и високо образование, од кој што со средно образование на некаде околу 40 на, а остатокот од некаде 27 лица добија со високо образование. Инаку, секоја година Владата на Република Македонија, преку сезонските вработувања кои што ги има, исто така вработува и, и, и Роми. Мегуто таа мерка не е наменета само за Роми, мегуто најголемиот број од оваа мерка бенефит има токму Ромите.
in regard to, to the reports, I have to say that I read carefully all the related reports, and I think that um, they are well, well written. And um, in this sense, the question that I, a couple of questions that I want to pose to Serbian representatives are linked to the good portion of the internally displaced people originating from Kosovo, which are uh, living in Serbia. As I could see from the reports, there is no reference at all to that, and I uh, want to ask uh, whether there is some plan to present uh, to, to find a permanent solution to this portion of people. Uh, a second question, uh, which is in a kind a suggestive question, is linked to the territoriality and the extent of the coverage of uh, Roma decade, uh, in a sense, uh, foreseeing the fact that uh, we have a kind of hazardous situation with the IDP communities living in the north of Mitrovica. I want to know whether Serbia has, uh, is taking care of that issue because there, is, uh, there are some families which are looking for permanent solution, health, housing and so on and so forth. And a very well known, I guess, uh, problem of Leposavic camp. Uh, in Leposavic, there are 300 families uh, who are living in very deplorable living conditions since uh, 14 years now, and I, I want to learn more whether Serbian government is uh, planning to do something on that aspect. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, yes, um, IDPs uh, of Roma nationality are recognized in the strategy for improvement of status of Roma as the most uh, vulnerable, one of the most vulnerable group in multiple disadvantaged groups within the Roma population. And one chapter of the strategy and the act uh, of the action plan uh, has targeted measures for improvement of their status in all areas of social life, education, health, uh, housing, and employment. Uh, and also we tried um, uh, those measures to be cross-cutting through all the document. Um, uh, for uh, uh, implementation of those measures, uh, the main uh, institution is charged is Commissariat for Refugees and uh, they uh, have uh, different activities. Uh, one part of those activities is related to Roma who are in the um, uh, collective accommodation. And um, uh, we have some influence uh, on them uh, while making criteria cri uh, for permanent solution uh, to define criteria in that way not to exclude Roma families. And those criteria are like uh, uh, families with um, many children than uh, um, the most socially disadvantaged bit uh, be, uh, between the whole group of completely disadvantaged, and I think that in that sense we succeed. Uh, Commissariat for Refugees is implementing some project with support to uh, from the IPA funds for um, uh, unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the, the term is not a durable solution, but uh, for, uh, yes, uh, and um, uh, Roma are benefits uh, of those programs, but um, those uh, tasks are not uh, mentioned in the report because we try to stick just for these common priorities for all country and IDPs are something which are for us priority and importance. Uh, but we have data about that in our national report on implementation of the um, action plan and strategy uh, in Serbia. Um, and uh, the second uh, very difficult part are IDPs who are living in informal settlements and, um, and they are included uh, in um, uh, resettlement plans um, in um, a different way than those uh, uh, inhabitants of informal settlements who, are, who have address in Belgrade, for example, in latest eviction. Also, Commissariat for Refugees was in charge for provided alternative accommodation for them. And the third category is uh, the uh, ex-IDPs who are actually living in Serbia but have achieved the right to find uh, one of the final solutions returning back to Kosovo. 
so uh, in many programs, uh, IDPs are one of the identified as the most vulnerable group of Roma, but they are not mentioned in this concrete um, um, report because um, uh, we try to stick to uh, common issues. Uh, yes, they are, and they are treated that way. Uh, with regard to your questions to people living in North Mitrovica and Liposavich camp, uh, you know uh, as well that we have limited uh, influence on uh, developments uh, there, and uh, there were house uh, health programs uh, in uh, north of Mitrovica, but that's it. Thank you. Uh, the colleague from Hungary has mentioned that uh, they have projects uh, regarding the uh, agricultural development. In S Serbia, we have very small percentage of Roma people who are dealing with the agro business, and this is a chance for uh, uh, not very educated working force, but I would kindly ask you to help us to reach your experiences. That would be uh, valuable for us because we would like to open this new area for the Roma people in Serbia to to, to get employment in the agricultural uh, sector. I don't know how can we stay in touch if next year I'm here. I might forget it, but if we can exchange our email, uh, emails and so we can get some practical instructions the second question is for Macedonia. How many Roma are on, registered on the national uh, registry for the employment? In the According to the last report that I received, and it was uh, the, uh, prepared in August 2011, the total number of registered unemployed Roma people in the employment agency are 14,464. The total number of Roma, according to the last census, is 53. 847, and this difference in between is the number of Roma people who are registered as employed in the Republic of Macedonia. In this category also you have the children who do not uh, are not registered on the labor market. They are not, I'm talking about the category of people who are uh, employable. Ja sam Ljativ Demir, ekspert za romski prašanja, inaku profesor na dva univerziteta. I'm Ljativ Demir, I'm an expert on Roma issues. I'm a professor at two universities and I've been following the decade for a longer period of time. Yesterday I didn't want to come to listen to the others, but I wanted to come here and to hear the people that I know the most and the countries that I'm familiar with. Are you aware, because we haven't heard you talk about results achieved within your countries, are you aware of the number of uh, programs which are incompatible? You've undertaken them in your countries, but they are failures. Why? You do not talk about the failures of uh, the decade and there is no meeting that you've talked because these kind of gatherings do not mean that you have done something something in the country but what uh, is uh, what are the things that you haven't managed to do have you done this kind of analysis the second thing I think in the last three years, uh, listening to the results from the countries that, that talked today, they repeat the same results over and over again. The same thing that we had in 2008, 2009, we again say the same thing. This is a kind of a benefit for 2012. Have you done the analysis within your countries? That uh, Have you noticed that you repeat the same results uh, each year when we meet uh, on the meetings of the decade? Isn't that a little bit, it's nice to be professional. It's uh, nice that you share your experience. It's your, your work on daily basis, but it's honest to us who have listened to the same story. We've been listening to the same story for three years to hear something new, something that will be functional. The second thing, the general impression is that you do not have data which show 
the program that you started in some year, you, they do not show some progress. For example, in Serbia, 175 uh, secondary school students involved in this program. But you don't mention when it started. And what is the growth of, uh, the, prog uh, of the program in regard to 2009, 2012? So we cannot talk about development here. And uh, to Anna Maria, one question. Is this the same policy undertaken for the internally uh, displaced pe persons for Roma? Is uh, the same? Uh, the same applies for the internally di uh, displaced uh, Serbs. Do you have the same policy for both the Serbs and Roma? Because both Roma and Serbs are citizens of the country called Serbia, so they have the same citizenship. Or you have different policy for the Roma people? And here is the question that we can. Uh, explain if you have different policy for the Roma people. It's clear that we don't need the decade. It's true that we need a policy which will overcome this situation. The citizens of the country called Serbia, it's a citizen of Serbia regardless whether he or she is a Roma, Serb or an Albanian. This, this is something that I want to ask. If in Leposavic you have people living there for 12, 15 years without any assistance, Ask yourself how much have you done for the Serbs from Leposavic and living in Serbia. Thank you. Bez nikakva, nikakva pomoć. Prašajte koliko ste napravili za Srbite koji se od Leposavic a se veke vo Srbije. Blagodarno. Yes, we are aware about incompatibility of some of the programs and uh, we are trying to um, use lessons learned in future planning. For example, we had the situation that from the national level, three different programs with good separate results were implementing. For example, pedagogical assistance, uh, Roma health mediators and engagement of local uh, Roma coordinators in local self-government. But then, while while we were trying to uh, implement some concrete actions at the local level from local, national and international budget, uh, we realized that at some locations, not every, uh, those um, structures, let's say, uh, who were supposed to facilitate activities in those areas were not communicated uh, between themselves and, for example, we have uh, the situation that in all three sectors, data were gathered and not communicated between themselves and uh, we tried to overcome that by planning concrete support for local self-governments to implement um, uh, locally uh, designed um, uh, policies to support their local policies but first to work in those communities uh, to develop comprehensive approach involving uh, all the state stakeholders at the local level. Um, whether that is going to work or not, that is for some future evaluation, but uh, we realize that there are some um, uh, uh, incompatibilities between programs. Also, uh, different donors and different international agencies are present uh, in all countries, including Serbia. Uh, they are planning their programs on their own, and they have some country teams, but when the first agency get independent funds, that, that's uh, the end of the um, country team planning. Because of that, um, the government um, established a new uh, no, uh, aid coordination mechanism and um, we initiated together with the um, uh, Office for EU Integration an intersectoral group on Roma inclusion and the uh, task of that group uh, should be uh, to uh, uh, government to coordinate donor activities and I think that the good base as I mentioned is that all the uh, donors and and international implementing agencies participated in uh, planning of the action plan for 2012 to 2014, so they were able uh, to plan uh, their activities and uh, support together with 
with the relevant government institutions. Uh, one um, uh, effort that we made in that direction is that in all the rest uh, group uh, for donor coordination, um, uh, participants are only government and donor. We asked uh, from the Office for EU Integration, uh, National Council of the Roma National Minority, and at least the representative of one Roma um, uh, civil society network to be presented. Uh, that is now in the stage of establishment, and with the new government, we will follow up that activity, and I think that that would lead us uh, to better coordination um, uh, at national level, including donor resources. Um, are we analyzing our failures? Uh, yes, uh, we developed a draft action plan and we asked from all uh, ministries to develop reports about the implementation of uh, uh, the action plan in the period of 2009-2011. Uh, what we first got uh, is um, uh, uh, that uh, reports are not on the same level. Uh, some institutions are reporting about implementation of small-scale projects, some of uh, projects and programs, some of different measures foreseen by the action plan, while some, like in the areas of education and health, uh, had developed, um, uh, are nearly to develop an impact um, uh, evaluation uh, system, and uh, our task for the future will really be uh, to work uh, on uh, monitoring and evaluation in that way to measure impact and to um, uh, what includes uh, discussion on um, um, failures or um, non-successful programs, uh, but uh, that is not only for the government, that is also for international organizations who are implementing large-scale programs and are not willing to, say, to see um, the um, not success successful investment. That is our joint task, of course, with uh, strong representation of um, uh, Roma national minority. Uh, same results uh, presenting, uh, I tried uh, in this presentation in areas where we do have data for comparison to compare data from 2005 to from 2008, from 2011 and 10. But we are missing data, we do not have data in all areas. Uh, we are relying on some um, uh, uh, surveys which are targeting certain areas and on um, uh, uh, information systems which are in progress like in education and in health. Uh, baselines and uh, milestones we are uh, missing and we all know that. Uh, we are maybe speaking about implementation of same measures, but uh, those measures are long-term measures in education. Uh, we are adding new measures, but uh, 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 unless you implement one measure, uh, not for four, but for eight years, you won't see the significant improvement in the field. Uh, 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 relation uh, of Serbian authority toward uh, IDPs of different uh, nationalities, concretely you asked Roma and Serbian, uh, I, I really uh, do have to say that it is the same. The things that we pointed out to the Commissariat for Refugees is that uh, uh, a significant number of Roma IDPs are living in informal settlements. And for them, the treatment is different because uh, they are not, uh, uh, when the uh, uh, when, uh, final solutions are created, they are firstly created for those who are living in collective centers. And in that terms, we are raising awareness that we should at the same time think about uh, solutions for Roma living in informal settlements, in that terms. Uh, and uh, in this last uh, relocation of settlements that I mentioned, 
we treated family by family with individual cases like a uh, uh, number of children pregnant winning even for those who were already uh, returned to Kosovo and now, uh, now in Serbia we try to find a temporary solution because uh, their individual cases didn't allow to go back to uh, to Kosovo, and it is a very sensitive and uh, um, uh, <laughs> from different sides a challenging issue and involves uh, politics, but uh, in terms of concrete actions of uh, Commissariat for Refugees, they are doing their best. I would like to thank for the Hungarian government that you really made an uh, enormous effort to collect um, ethnic uh, data as well as you just um, devised the monitoring and indicator system in Hungary, which is really, really good. And um, as we know that um, no, we have a strategy, we have the priorities for all countries as an input. In many countries, you are planning to have the monitoring system and also the indicator system. And what I would like to point it out, actually, which is between the two, the end and, and, uh, and the beginning, there is a mechanism system which is really disadvantaging Roma concerning EU funds allocation. So my question is that, is there any measures which will be put forward in order to have more uh, access for Roma NGOs to EU funds and also to make the, the participation, participation of Roma is more meaningful to have a mechanism for that? Because sometimes we see that you know people are quicking, uh, quicking the box that they they invited Roma NGOs and Roma people and they are sitting in the meeting and the workshop but they have no clue about what's going on. So I think it, it should have some kind of mechanisms for that. And the other one is uh, concerning employment issues, um, particularly in Hungary there was a. Uh, a positive action, like integrating Roma into the public system, which was done by the previous government. And I think there was many problems with the pro uh, program, but still I think it was a kind of positive actions, which really gave an opportunity for Roma who graduated from university to be integrated in the public sector, as well as to, to to, um, to put forward the Roma interest in various sectoral policies. And I just would like to ask the government, are they planning to continue this program? And the other issue is concerning housing. Um, Hungary and Slovakia as well, they are uh, planning these big complex settlement programs which basically rehabilitating the Romani settlements and the Romani ghettos. And, um, and I can understand the point, however, I would like to ask that is there any mobility scheme? So there are, certainly there are some families and there are some groups of people who would like to be integrated into the locality and not stay and stuck in the Romani ghettos. And, um, and if the government is planning to have any mobility scheme. And the other thing is also relate to the complex housing program that you are planning to have a community centers which basically facilitate the access to basic social services. So that's mean that um, providing social services in the community housing. Um, that um, do you, how do you plan the sustainability of these community centers? Because we saw in Slovakia and Hungary as well from the fire project, there were built many community centers and after that, uh, people just were not able to sustain. Thank you. Először is a civil szervezetek bevonásáról. És arról, hogy hogy érik a támogatásokat a civil szervezetek. First, I would like to briefly comment on your first question uh, concerning uh, how the civil NGOs uh, can get access to EU funds. A, uh, a kormány feladata 
És egyébként az államtitkárság feladata az, hogy bevonja a civil szervezeteket. The task of the uh, state secretary for social inclusion and the government to involve the NGOs and the civil organizations. És minél több olyan programot indítson, ahol kötelező partner egy civil szervezet. And to launch programs uh, um, in which uh, the participation of a civil organization is a must. Ilyen például a, a komplex teleprogram. For example, there is the complex settlement program. És ez kapcsolódik a másik kérdéshez is, a teleprogram kérdéshez is. And it uh, somehow linked to the question of uh, housing and the question of uh, settlement programs. Nem azért kapnak ösztöndíjat, hogy kiköltözzenek a teleprogramról, vagy a telepről a, a romák. Uh, there is no mobility scheme for... Uh, uh, for the Roma to, to get out from the, from the settlements, but... Uh, hanem azért, hogy a képzésben részt vegyenek. But to participate in the trainings. És megtanulják a saját otthonukat fölújítani, megtanulják azokat a munkákat, most hát megtanulják azok, azokat a munkákat, amivel a saját telepüket, a saját otthonukat tudják fölújítani. And to, to develop uh, some sort of skills, uh, which can help them to refurbish their, their uh, accommodations. És ebben and számítunk, a, itt számítunk a civil szervezetekre, ebben a programban számítunk a civil szervezetekre, akik segítenek bevonni a romákat. And uh, we expect the help of the civil NGOs who are uh, able to, to involve the Romans. És ez kapcsolódik a legutolsó kérdéshez. And this is linked to your last question. Hogy hogyan sikerül bevonni a romákat, egyrészt a civil szervezeteken keresztül. To act, uh, how to activate, how to involve the Roma. Yeah, first of all, through the civil organizations. Másrészt uh, uh, az államtitkárság háttérintézményén keresztül. And on the other hand, uh, through the background institute of the social, uh, state secretariat for social inclusion. És ami a legfontosabb, az And országos roma önkormányzattal kötött keretmegállapodás is tartalmazza ezt. And which is uh, very important to note, uh, it is pinned down in the framework ag agreement uh, made with, between the government and the national Roma self, uh, national Roma self government. Így a roma, roma képviselők vonják be a, a romákat. Therefore, uh, Roma representatives uh, themselves involved the uh, Roma. 6000 ember? 6000, ez 6000 képviselőt jelent országosan, akik ebben részt tudnak venni, és tudják tájékoztatni a, a roma közösségeket. That means uh, 6000 representatives who can be part of uh, this uh, whole issue and uh, can inform the roma population.